Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the main show. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Mm -hmm. Something like that. He could go, go oh, oh, the oh. way. You know that's from? Um, it's from a lot of things, actually. You can't, that's not an answer. <laughs> you can't be on Jeopardy and they'd be like, and what is this from? Well, Alex, that's from a lot of things. <laughs> I know. Sean, you're silly. Hey, everyone. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Every time you do that, you howdy, sound howdy. like Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right, I just need to update the yes. links really quick and we'll get going. So as you come in, say hello. Sean is getting everything set up on his end. Mm -hmm. And then we will get to this show on the road. Mm -hmm. We're eating cotton candy grapes. They are in season. Yes. If you don't know what a cotton candy grape is, I feel very sorry for you. Hello, they are Nancy. amazing. Leslie. So I am not a kids? green cotton candy fan or a green grape fan, but green cotton candy grapes are the bomb diggity. They actually taste like cotton candy. I don't I, know how it works. I don't think they taste like cotton candy. They're just, to me, they're just sweeter. That's like all. cotton candy. No, they don't taste like cotton candy. Do they taste like sugar? Just sugar. No, they're what just is... sweet green, no, sweet <laughs> yeah. green grapes. Cotton I... candy has an actual taste, it seems like. No, it like. doesn't. It has a taste of no. sugar. Like the apron. I know, isn't that cool? I got it for being See the, uh, something. Chocotour. Or was it the, which one was it? Um, this is, I think, Master Mojo. Ma the Master Mojo? Yes. Master Mojo. Hello. Mentor. All right. We are ready. We are. Let me take Hello, this back Barbie. over here. Corinne, Fatima, Kathy, All right, Angel, guys. Jackie, so Ms. welcome, Kishan. welcome, welcome to our episode. Um, today we're going to do, I am waiting for my order. So oh, if you horrible. guys didn't know what's going on, let me show you. A new... Oops. You all right? A new catalog release. Oh my goodness. Are you guys excited? I know I am. So a new catalog release. This is the autumn winter catalog. So first, let me tell you, if you would like a catalog and you are not a current designer, down below there is a link to request a catalog and you get a, yes, a physical paper, oh smell it, beautiful mm. catalog. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you check out that link. Now, let me tell you what's going on with this catalog. So. Our catalog released on July 2nd. I always do a pretty big order. Um, can you zoom in? I don't like this angle. Can you go to this catalog so I can change your angle? You want to change the angle? Yes. Okay, there we go. You like that? I like that better. Okay, now you can go back to us. Okay. <laughs> oh, the joys of live. Mm -hmm. So um, I always do a very large order and it is not shipped yet. So as everyone is getting their beautiful boxes and unboxing them, I am waiting. Mm -hmm. So literally, I have one transfer that I want to play with, which is our July transfer. And that is what we are going to do, is we're going to play with this. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure you share the love, share everything. If you're new to Chocotour and don't know what Chocotour is, let me tell you. So Chocotour is a system of products that are revolutionizing the DIY industry. And I always say that, but it truly is true. This is a process where we take silk screens, which have adhesive on the back. This allows you to get a perfect placement every time. And it truly is as easy as this graphic. You literally peel the transfer off, you place it, you paste it, you reveal it. So easy, you oh. clean it, and you can use our transfers about eight to 12 times if you take care of them. You can use them more, but I always quote that to be that. Now, you can enjoy uh, Choc Couture by using our Chocology paste. Chocology paste is removable with water unless you spray it with um, some sort of sealant. Uh, we just use a matte spray finish. Mm -hmm. Now, these are our new colors in the catalog. So we did retire a whole bunch of colors, brought out a whole bunch of new colors. I'm gonna show you a few of them. The ones at the bottom are our in vogue colors. These colors are, get them while they're hot. Now, there was a few in vogue colors that made it into the regular, the regular um, catalog. So if you noticed, um, Raspberry Sorbet and Guava were in vogue colors and now they are part of our permanent color selection. Yeah. So the in vogue colors this time are curry, which I have a really good feeling is gonna become a permanent color because we have an ink in curry, so that's just what I think. 
We also have um, Sea Foam Rainforest, Rainforest Ice Latte, which I didn't get to see in person, but Sean said it I is did. It's beautiful. very nice. It's very and pretty. Shimmer Red, oh. which is very exciting. Yes. Now, we also have Ink. Ink is permanent when you heat set it using an iron heat press, easy press. Um, and we have all the colors and we are in the process of aligning our colors with our ink and our paste. So a lot of the new colors that came into our paste line match our inks. Mm -hmm. So there's three different ways you can experience Chalk Couture. Um, you can become a Club Couture member. Now Club Couture is awesome. That's what we're actually doing today. You get a transfer and three paste singles every month for $19.99. That includes shipping, so it's great. When you become a club member, you have the option to get a Kickstarter kit, which has a whole bunch of fun things in it that you are going to want. And I thought I gave Sean, I did. Um, and so you want to definitely take advantage of that. And you also get access to my exclusive Facebook group where I have exclusive sales like this month to kick off catalog. I have a really good exclusive sale that uh, you only get if you're a Club Couture member. Now you can also just shop directly at my site or you can become a designer. Now the designer is for someone that is either A, using our product a lot and wants to get that beautiful 40% discount and or people like Sean and I do that do the business and want to grow a team. Mm -hmm. So that is three ways you can experience Chalk Couture. So today we are making this project. This is the Here Comes the Sun. And we are doing it exactly as it is set forth by Chalk Couture's beautiful designers. And we are just following that, having fun with you, chit-chatting and all of that goodness. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, if you want, if you want the catalog, make sure you request it down below. We got the catalogs in today. We have 200 almost catalogs, beautiful. We are not charging for these catalogs. We will send them out to you free of charge as long as we know that you are a previous customer or are interested in becoming a designer and or committing to buying from us as your designers. And for that, we, we love you. We love you. So for everyone commenting, this I will, I will model this for you. <laughs> so I got this for... Yeah, you um, did. somebody said, you didn't make this? Then going, no, you did not make this. Do I look like Peter Pan? Dun, 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 dun. So, um... When you go to ChalkCon, they always have initiatives or promotions, and one of them was Master Mojo. And to be honest, I don't even really remember what it was. I think, I don't know. I should know, but I don't. I was overstimulated. But if you got invited to this lunch, you get a gift at home. And this was the gift. And it is very flowery and bright and colorful. It says Chalk Couture. And I said, Sean, can I wear this? And he said, yes. So I wore it. There you go. There you go. Brene, we're glad you got your doggy back too. Oh my. Yes, we're going to talk about that while I pace because yes. I was a mess yesterday. So. Yeah, Renee just lost hers today, oh. but they found it three and a half hours later. Yes, I so will get you guys caught up on that. Glad you got yours back too. Um, first thing we're going to do is make sure our chalk paste is ready to go. Sean's going to get picture in picture for you guys mm -hmm. so you guys can see all of the beautifulness. Um, we are going to be using, I'll show you all the supplies that we're going to be using. We will be using orange peel, couture teal, and bumblebee. Ooh, ah. Well, of course, we're going to be using the Here Comes the Sun July transfer. We'll be using the 5.5 by 8.75 box frame. This is double sided. You have one side here that's more of the darker brown, and then the inside, which is the light wood grain. These are a one time use, so please keep that in mind when you are using it. We will be using the brand new. Ooh, ah. The new Chalk Couture trimmers, which I am so excited about. Um, and I knew, I feel like I knew I was coming, but they just wouldn't tell me because, you know, it's all secret. But these will not come out until July 22nd. There is a mm -hmm. handful of items in the catalog that don't come out until July 22nd. And that's very sad face, I know. But never fear, they will be here. Mm -hmm. All they right. Will be here. We'll also be using squeegees. Buzzing cloth, okay, so buzzing cloth, multi-tool squeegees, and we are using placement tape for very something special. So, um, if you guys have questions, make sure they're all in caps. Make sure if you are not a designer to share this video with your friends and families. We will love you for that. And yeah, so. Oh, um, good idea. Karen, put a tile on your fur babies. Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> But our dogs don't wear collars, but we did get some beautiful uh, Canadian collars from our friend that we could probably But a tile, in. you would, does it tell you the location or is it just beep? 
So I here's what happened. I'm going to tell you guys what happened while I make sure my paste is done. Lesson for Ken and Sean. So Sunday night, we had a family function mm -hmm. over at my brother's house, and we stayed a little bit longer than we should have because Sean told me last minute that he needed to mow the lawn. Yep. And so at like 7.30, we left my brothers with barely any daylight and uh, headed home. Now, as you guys, I'm going to interrupt my story for people that are new. I am looking for the consistency of... Yogurt, yogurt. or cake batter yep. or creamy... So nice you're going to see me now, cream. this is going away as soon as my order gets here. Yep. Um, we have a brand new, I'm so excited, you yes. guys. It's so nice. Awesome. I am going to admit something, and if anyone tells on me, I will deny it and blame Jessica Douglas Wilson. Um, when we were <laughs> in the art room, we saw the sprayer, and mm -hmm. I said, Sean, I want to see how good it sprays. And he was like, there's no water in it. Well, what did we you do? We may have put water in it. <laughs> We made sure yes. it was distilled water because it has to be distilled Where water. Where did you find distilled water? It was distilled water, Sean. Uh-huh. You probably ruined it. <laughs> you are a horrible person. Anyways, it was distilled water, okay? And it is amazing. Not only does it is it a fine, 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 fine mist, but it's like the hairdresser one. So you spray it and it slowly releases. It's awesome. I wouldn't say slow. It, it's such a fine mist and it's ongoing. You can oh, sit there and hold Johnny, it and it just keeps so on fine, going. You're so fine, you blow my mind. But you, hey, do, but you do have to use hey, distilled Mr. water, which you can get at your oh, local store. Pictures, baby. I'm so glad that they're releasing it because I like this one, but you, it's finer mist than this. And I love that one because it was fine mist. Okay. So anyways, back to my story. So Sean, very, 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 please do not interrupt me because you were about ready to interrupt nope. me and I was going to drive me insane. Nope, I'm going to answer Love you question. dearly, but he will interrupt me, guys. I'm just saying. Um, so Sean very quickly mowed the lawn and I'm telling, like, he usually spends a long time mowing the lawn, but this time, but in the process, he left the side gate open. Fast forward to Monday morning and I had a mile long list of things, of course, I always had to do. At 11 a.m., the dog started whining to go outside, so I let him outside. Now, we have what's called a poop pen because Sean does not like the dogs pooping mm -mm. in the yard. It's okay, such so a it's pain. an ongoing struggle between Sean and I because I am for dogs' rights and pooping in the grass, and they don't want to poop on freaking rocks, right? So I just let him in the backyard. So, literally, about 45 minutes later, Sean goes, Hey, where are the dogs? I said, Oh, they're outside. He leaves, and then all of a sudden, I hear him say, oh, gosh, oh, no. Well, he didn't say, oh, gosh. He said a bad word, but I won't say it. He goes, the gate's open. Where are the dogs? And I'm like, Sean, they've been out there for an hour. So he immediately goes outside, starts calling their name. Nothing. There was a guy uh, down, a couple, houses, a couple down. houses down that they're building a new house, and the guy goes, oh, I just saw two Goldens go by here running pretty fast. They were probably your dogs, and I said, Oh, yes, that's, those are our dogs. Where'd they go? And he's like, they went down this way. So Sean's calling their names and whistling. He heads back to the house. And sure enough, Han and Riley run up to him. Show up. You know, out of breath, happy-go-lucky. He's, get in the house. No Toby. No Toby. So then, of course, I was like, where's Toby? Right? And sure enough, we couldn't find him. We are yelling his name, but you guys got to keep in mind, Toby is 12 years old. He has a breathing problem. He has a hard time breathing. He's deaf. He cannot hear anything, and he is very dependent on me. Like, he wants to follow me around everywhere. All right. So, I'll continue the story in one second. I'm going to show you. We are going to cut this. So, all of our chalk transfers have these little lines here. So, these lines are made for uh, to cut on. So, these scissors are really nice. Now, these scissors are um, called transfer trimmers. And they are to trim your transfers. The reason they call them transfer trimmers is I would only use these guys to cut transfers. Not that you can't use them anywhere else, but you want these to be nice and sharp because if you keep them sharp, watch what you can do. If you just do a half cut, you should be able to slide right down that transfer. And why is that important, Sean? Why do you want to slide down the transfer versus cutting it? It gives you a nice, smooth, straight cut line versus jagged or frayed line. So if lines. I cut, sometimes I do jagged, and when I lift up my transfers, it rips them. So keep these only for transfer training. All right. So we go looking for Toby. Can't find him. We're yelling his name. We spend, would you say about an hour? Hour or so, yeah. Hour or so, Sean says. Or so, yeah. 
um, looking for this dog to the point where Sean says, we are going to need to now go by car. Mm -hmm. We then got in our cars. I had a minor panic attack at this point because I, the, I mean, we love all of our dogs, but Toby is, loves, I mean, he's my dog. Let's just be honest, right? Yes. I'm um, sorry if I shook your camera. Apologize. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, so anyways, we get in the car. We go everywhere. We bring all the neighbors involved. Finally, we put the cars away and I said, we're going to have to go by foot because we need to go look in backyards and everything. Sean goes up. We live on 16th. Sean went up 17th, 18th. And I went down to 15th, 14th, and 13th walking around. Mm -hmm. And I could hear Sean's whistle all the way up on like 18th. And I just, every person was like, are you looking for a dog? And I'm like, he's yeah. really gray and da, 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 da. Right when, at two hours, when I was posting on Facebook that my dog is probably dead. Um, yeah, I was so, that's one thing that was going through my head, th thinking that he got hit he by got, a car. He got by a car, but yep. I think we'd see that. Or he got stuck somewhere or heat stroke. Yeah. Because it, I'm not to say it was boiling it was hot. hot. It was but hot. He's but he's long haired, he's overweight. So all of a sudden, this lady, as I'm calling animal control, said, do you have no dog? Are you looking for a dog? Is your dog gray in the face? It felt like an infomercial. And I was like, yes, yes. She's like, I think I know where he's at. My, uh, the, my dogs don't bark because there's no dogs near us, but there's a dog all of a sudden in this backyard. It might be your dog. And I was like, show me where he's at. Well, this house had a breezeway in between their, so they have a, a garage. Their garage was here, their house was here, and they had a breezeway. And their breezeway led to downstairs, which led to a pool. Sure enough, I go in their backyard. There's Toby. He barks at me at first because he's startled. He is so exhausted. He can't barely breathe. He couldn't walk at all. I had mm -hmm. to carry him up the stairs. So essentially what happened is all three of the dogs probably went down there and started playing. And they heard Sean whistle. And the two younger ones came. And Toby got stuck down there for yeah, two hours. I mean... And he was shaking. And he... Sean said he wasn't heat exhausted, but he was pretty... He was, no, heat exhaustion, not heat stroke. Because heat stroke, he oh. would have been basically laying on the ground panting. He couldn't, he couldn't walk, for sure. Like, we had to carry him. Except for when I did walk away, he started following he close, me. Yeah. Um, and it took us, we got him home. We put him in, soaked him in water, cold water. Not super cold, but colder. And he started drinking water. We gave him a few ice cubes, not a ton. Um, thank you for everyone that reached out to me and said that that wasn't a good idea. And then he recuperated, but mm -hmm. he has not left our side. No. He will not leave our side. Nope. Um, all right. So if you, for those of you who noticed, that was a fun story, huh? I'm just glad he's back because I was preparing for the worst. Um, we went ahead and fuzz this. Sean, why do we have to fuzz it? We want to fuzz these uh, because they are pretty sticky. And when you're placing them on a surface that they could be too sticky. And if you're pulling it, you might either rip it curl it stretch it and you don't want that yeah and on a surface like this with the wood surface it mm -hmm. will remove that wood stain mm -hmm. so you want to make sure i get this question all the time ken what is the pokey tool that is a pokey tool i use and i use it for reasons like this to grab the corner of my transfer i'm putting placement tape here so you'll notice that these transfers have a um a little tiny what they call Sean can show you Re on this Registration one. mark. A registration mark. And the registration mark is so we can line up. There's one there, and then there's another one there. It's so we can line up our transfers. But we can't usually use it on the wood surfaces because mm -hmm. you don't want it to hit your wood. Mm -hmm. Because if it hits your wood, it's going to stain it, and that is no bueno. So what I'm doing is I'm hiding a little bit of placement tape underneath and then placing it down so for example i know that this one's basically going to be right here place that so this way it's not hitting so it's going to hit the placement tape it's not going to hit the board mm -hmm. and then when we do here comes the sun we can line it up with that placement tape okay so the colors for this is yellow up here and blue down here so thank you for everyone who gave us nice comments and said little prayers and all sorts of stuff because um, I never want to go through that feeling again. It is not a good feeling. So did Renee find her dog? She did, three and a half hours later. Where was her dog? 
She did not say though, but she does have it. Um, Michelle Crumweed, weed, weed, Crumweed. She had hers stolen back in oh. 2008, and it was never found. I'm so sorry. Oh. We've only lost a dog twice like this. Maya got out one time, and she's a pretty happy. She was a pretty happy dog, and so we knew for Maya, we just had to go find out where the, the nearest kids were. And sure enough, oh, we yeah. found kids, and that's there where she was. She was. And um, I knew Toby was stuck somewhere with his age. Because yeah. let's be honest, Toby, most of the time, 90% of his day, he sleeps. Love yep. the dog dearly, but he sleeps. Mm -hmm. That's all he does. Sleep, 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 sleep. So true. So we are now adding our couture teal, which is literally the same color as our logo, mm -hmm. or our colors, I should say. And we're removing the excess. He was at a neighbor's house a few streets over. Yeah, the neighbor was gone, so they, they didn't even know he was there. We just went into his backyard and got him. Okay, so I'm going to pull straight up towards the ceiling. Not towards me, and why is that, Sean? Uh, keeps it from curling. Yes, Sean, good job. Thank you. Crumweedy. That's Crumweedy? How you, that's how you pronounce it, Crumweedy. What are you Mich talking about? Michelle's last name. Oh, Okay. I'm going to go wash my transfer. Um, and when I wash my transfer, guys, I do it under running water. And I use our board erasers, which look like this. I do not use Lysol wipes. I do not use um, uh, those things. What are those? Baby wipes. Literally just the force of water. I put it on the spray in one of these and then dry it that way. That mm -hmm. way you're going to get the most out. Um, Chalk Couture will tell you to use Lysol wipes. There's nothing against Lysol wipes. I just have found out that it removed the adhesive. Yeah, why Why add chemicals to your life when you don't have to? Water works really, really well. Oh my goodness, having your car and dog stolen, but yes, getting your dog back is so much better. That was from Julie Fox, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, well, very cool, Jill. That's one way of doing it. What was that? Jill is over at her friend's house watching us so she can show her friend what we, her friend, what we do. Oh. That is an amazing way of doing it. Because sometimes my friends and families think that all I do is sit at home and post links and make money. Mm, no. So, times, um, times 20. <laughs> Sean is interested in going to Mowali. And so we're looking into that option. We might do a chalkathon to raise funds for it. So yes. stay tuned on that. Mm -hmm. um, because in order to go, you do need to raise money for Watts of Love. So yep. we're looking at that. Yep. And down below, I forgot to say this in the beginning, we're giving away an Archon mount yes, we bundle are. by uh, the wonderful people at Archon. I can grab that, a picture of that. And um, so we'll make sure you guys... No, I cannot. Yes, I can. Okay. Do, 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 do. So make sure you guys head over to my Instagram. I gave you the link down below and enter into that because it is a $180 value. So for those of you who are watching right now, I'm drying my transfer. I do usually dry my transfer right away and put it back on the backing because once again, this will make your transfers last longer. Last longer. And that's what I'm all about because we invest in our art products, uh, especially if there's a sale. Mm -hmm. So... I just saw John. Hi, John. Is hosting a watch party. First time doing this. I have I several love people watch watching parties. with me. That is so cool. Hello, everybody. Do you know That's how the watch fun. parties work? I don't. So a watch party, for those of you guys who don't know, if you're in a group or something, you can host a watch party on Facebook, and it creates a watch party between you and your friends. Mm -hmm. So we can't necessarily see the comments of what's being said, but John's in charge of his watch party and can talk in between them. Right. So either A, John could be like, these guys are great, or he could be like, these guys are total you know what," and we wouldn't know <laughs> because would it's in know. his watch party. <laughs> John, we better not be doing that. Oh. Yes, I Cut definitely. You. Yes. Oh, thanks, Tamara, yes. Oh, yes to a chalkathon for Sean to Malawi. What's funny, he's so scared about this thing about going to Malawi. I mean, what's funny is I'm not this, scared. Not scared, I you're am, just I've concerned. Never, I have never traveled <laughs> outside of the country. And Except Mexico. I'm excited. Here's the deal. I'm excited for what I'm doing. I love the fact that we're giving mm -hmm. back, and it's a wonderful opportunity. But I have to get shots. There's tigers and hippopotamuses. And I don't know if you've ever met me, but I sweat in hot weather. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm sure I'll be sweating, might, too. If you go. <laughs> Oh, I know. I want to go. I'm just saying. I know I want you to um, go, but... 
But here's the thing, the, uh, in, the, in the last both Entertainment and People magazines for this week, there are a couple people or a couple things in there saying that they went to Malawi or going to there. And then when was their funerals? They're still alive because okay, one is Prince Harry is one of them. He he's is going. So hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's so hot. And um, and I'm not talking like Ken hot in the weather. We're talking like Ken mm. hot. Okay. John has ten, oh, 10 plus people. Wow. Shut up. Did you do this backwards? No. What? I did couture teal on couture tape. So I just. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Don't worry. Just see see where the the goes. Just make sure the the I goes know. right, okay, right there. So it's all it's all good. Word to the wise: Couture teal matches our couture placement tape, so you're not going to see your hashtags. Yeah. Fun story. <laughs> Fun story. All right. So because we are doing on top of this beautiful layer, we are going to make sure we need to cut. Oh, you need to show them the picture. I did. Oh. I've already did. I've already showed. Isn't that. that a good picture? Yeah, it's a great picture. Yeah. So Sean took that picture, and I wanted to keep. People keep saying it's the money shot, which means something completely different to Ken. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm I've sure many been people deleting understand. those. Um, all right, back to this stuff. So we are gonna hit uh, hit this with the hairdryer. Uh, you can start with hot air and then turn it to cool air. For us, we always put a little bit of the cool on there at the end because you don't want to heat it up and mm -hmm. risk it coming up. So, sorry. Did that feel good? Yeah. Did you feel nice and refreshed? Yeah. Did you like the cotton candy drink? I haven't had any. You're mine. That's I know fine. they're yours. Do you know why I have to have cotton candy grapes? Because you because don't like you don't like you candy. You are like the Grinch and don't let me have candy. That's right. So, so the closest I can have is cotton candy. Hey, there you go. I want you to build a holster for this. Can you do that? A holster? Yeah, I want it to hold like right there. That's your job. Do you accept it? Well, you don't really get an option to not accept it. You just have to do it. Put it here and right there. Well, we might as well take this place with tape off because yes. it serves no purpose because the hashtags on it are the same color as, as the tape. The tape. So that was awesome. Yes, Patty, you did catch us live. That was Patty on the YouTube side. That was Patty on the video. I need to take some water. Hydration's key, everyone. Ken, mark the tape with a marker, then you'll see it. You got that right, Whitney. I should have done that. Whitney? Whitney. Whitney Houston? No, Whitney Copsey. Whitney Bobby. Okay, so once again, we are going to grab our fuzzing cloth. Now, the fuzzing cloth has two sides. It has a terry cloth side and a microfiber side yep. the terry cloth side is what i use to do the fuzzing and it has the tag yep tag we were just talking about that and earlier. this is the microfiber side and this is what i use to dry my transfers now i recommend having at least three of these they're very very reasonably priced i want to say they're 7.99 mm -hmm. and this way you can sandwich them in between to dry which yep. makes it a little, a little faster darker. so we're gonna take love, this off you love the glitter what what glitter? Glitter? Oh, I did this. Look. Oh, yes. Glitter, glitter. Yep. Should we do glitter on Here Comes the Sun? No. Why, yes, I think uh, we should. No. Thank you for nope. that idea. Whose idea nope. was that? Nope. Nope. Too bad. Nope. It's in my head. In my head. Okay. I want orange glitter. I know somebody was asking me, how do I do the picture, the double picture? Well, if you have... If you have uh, the program called um, Switcher, Studios. Switcher Studio, sorry, that I took know. a while. Yeah, it took me a while. That right? took a while, didn't Switcher it? Switcher Studios, you can do that. What's but... the difference between Neo Tangerine and Neon Orange? They look the same to me. Mm. I'll do mm. orange. I don't know. Ooh, or should I do copper? Or is that too dark? That's too dark. I mean, what if I mix the two? Nah, don't do that. Sean likes to keep them segregated. Yeah. That's not good, Sean. You should want to love people. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Why don't they just have regular old orange? They have to have orange. Why do I only have neon orange? Did yeah, I you can definitely orange? use you can definitely use these um, over and over again. We've had some well over 25 times. Oh, that's um, orange. That's orange? Yeah, that, yeah but it looks, it's more copper. That's copper to me. 
Yeah, we're just going to do neon orange, I guess. Neon apricot's too close to yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. I don't care. No. Sean, why At do you least, hate glitter so much? Because it gets everywhere. No, it does Everywhere. It. If you do if it you right do it... and dump it in the garbage, it's much Sean, better. Yes. Sean, 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 yes. you need to stop it right Thanks, now. Thanks, Angela. Sean, you need to stop it right now. Stop it right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're making a scene. Am I really? No. No. Where are you going? I wanted to see if I had orange over here. Mm -mm. You don't know where I have glitter. I know. Hidden it's all everywhere. over the floor. Oh my God, you are being so overdramatic. Okay, so here comes the sun. Oops, wrong side. So I am going to fuzz this between mm, three to five times. <laughs> Fuzzing is very, very key when you are doing um, on wood grain and also on our Aiden boards. Our Aiden boards, because they are a metal um, magnet on it, it will curl your transfers extremely easy. So, word to the wise. How do you keep your transfer from f fraying apart after cutting them apart? Lisa, so that's where the this comes in. The... Yeah, if you have sharp scissors, it'll keep from doing that. Or if you had a, um, sometimes we used to use the... The, um... the other thing I found out is if you use a transfer, so for example, in our pinwheel video last month's Club Couture, mm -hmm. we took that pinwheel and used it, washed it, dried it, used it, washed it, dried it, used it, that frays it too. If you don't let it dry out completely and you just keep using it, it has more of a chance of fraying out. Yeah, because it is a slight fabric type yeah. material. So, but it by cutting this way, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So on this here, we'll just do it on this one. When you cut, most people will, you know, they'll, by doing that, you're making tiny little edges where that's where it's going to fray. The nice thing on these transfer trimmers is if you cut and then slide it like this, you won't get that fray. Being a florist for over 20 years, you find glitter everywhere. I'm sure. You know what, Sean? Glitter is beautiful, and it it makes the children happy, okay? Mm -hmm. Why do you hate it so much? Because it gets on everything. I mean, not just here. It gets on us. It gets on clothing. And, and it doesn't wash off. It's like, it's farther down. You... I'm just helping. You need to help by embracing glitter, Okay. It doesn't matter where this is at. It can be wherever it wants to be. It can rock out with its sun out, okay? <laughs> Here comes the sun. You need to check out can Peachy Olive it? Glitters. They put all mm -hmm. others to shame. So pretty. Who? Oh, who's? Something called Peachy Olive Glitters. Peachy? Or peachy like a peachy folder? She's calling it Peachy Olive peachy, Glitters. Peachy, Must be a name. Peachy, I love the peachy pink. Are the... Uh, New uh, trimmers better than the Cricut scissors? Um, they're different. So the Cricut scissors, a couple things about them. I don't know, I don't know where they're uh, at. Oh, um, it, I'll grab them. They were they're like up, they were like upstairs. So, okay. So a couple things on the Cricut scissors is there is oh thanks Renee. There's a, a distinguished difference. You can see these are a little bit longer. There is a huge difference on cost. Um. The other thing is, is these are a little bit, they have, what's that coating called? It's a non-stick, there's a non-stick. Non-stick coating on this. A... That helps cut your transfers better yeah. than this. And the, the fabric scissors work great, the Cricut fabric scissors. However, the one thing I didn't like is <clears throat> I had a little bit more fraying with that one than I do the trimmers. You now, can... granted, I've only had the trimmers since we've gotten back from conventions. So. You can find a holster on Amazon. Thanks, Ooh. Renee. What about the Tim Holtz scissors? Those are good, but they are, you have to remember, they are um, serrated. Serrated. So serrated, you keep on serrated. serrated doesn't work as well at, to push mm -hmm. and yes. cut. In fact, I ruined a transfer trying to do that. So I was super excited to see I could do it with these ones because I, that's how I cut my yeah. cardstock. That's how I cut most everything is, is I cut and then. Yeah. But I will say, Seeing somebody say Tim Holtz and then dog hair, Tim Holtz's scissors cut dog hair really well. Do they? <laughs> yes, it does. Huh, never That's tried really it. well. Why did you use my Tim Holtz scissors to cut dog <laughs> hair, Sean? Huh? Exactly. Why would you use my Tim Holtz scissors? Because they're the only scissors nearby that I need right away. You never use my cross scissors. I have them organized by certain ones. Like, I only use certain scissors on certain mediums. Hmm. 
These were the teeny tiny ones. These are the you're still in trouble, uh. okay? Now Sean thinks we're ruining this by putting glitter, but I don't care. Are you doing it all over it? Yes, that's how I do it. So you have to do this immediately after you pull, you gotta do it right while it's still wet. A rotary cutter that they have, and yeah, now that they have a healing mat. That's right, Carl, it would be kind of nice. I but, can't wait to get myself healing cutting mat. Yeah. Which at first I didn't quite understand what it was for because we obviously have this wood top. So mm -hmm. for us, I was like, why do we need this? But then I started talking to people at ChalkCon and they're like, well, I do my chalking at mm -hmm. a, our dining room table and I do, I needed mixed colors. And then I was like, oh, look at this glitter. It when looks like you are sand. Correct. What? Glitter is the herpes of the craft world. It is, but you know what? It's a herpes that I enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna go wash Sean. My grandson glittered some chalk, chalked gifts that he made for Christmas and we are still finding it in my basement, says Tamara Wolf. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Here comes the sun and I sing. Renee, make sure you, you should almost put a, a chain and a thing to it so it can't go anywhere. Yeah, what I need is, talking about the hol holster, because I know like some of the uh, hairdressers have something that can hold their hair dryer, like a tube, something like that. I need something like that to I hope, put on the edge here. I hope that would next work. catalog, which will be in January of next year, they release a drying tool. The next big one? Yeah. A drying tool? I don't want a, like a hair dryer. I want like just a drying tool that pushes out air to dry our chalk stuff. And I want it to be teal and I want it to say chalk couture. Of course. Because I want every, you know me, I like matching. That's not matching. the drying side. Just want to let you know. There's you the... know, you could easily have said that. Let me teach you something about being in a teaching environment. <laughs> Next time you should say, hey, do you know you're using the terry cloth side instead of, that's not the drying side. There are times, yes. I'm going to tell you a little story. Everyone always says, Sean's so nice. I love Sean. He's so good. You're so mean to Sean until they stay with Sean. My true friends who know who Sean is, Jasmine, <laughs> Allison, Jessica. Sorry. He's like a child. <laughs> and they stay here for a couple days. And then I'm like, he says his little passive aggressive comments. And they're like, <laughs> man, he's, and I'm like, yeah, he's a big D is what he is. He's so passive aggressive. <laughs> Sorry. Drying tool for the win. Yeah, that would be See? cool. I have a list. I want a pokey tool. I want a drying tool. I want... Um, better stir sticks. And I'm not a fan of our stir sticks. Sorry. I'm real, guys. I'm transparent. You'll notice I always use the multi-tool instead of our stir sticks. Our stir sticks are just a little flimsy, I think. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. So, Courtney, that's the whole idea about fuzzing your cloth. When you do the terry cloth side, you want some of those little fibers on there. Not If you, if you have a brand new one, wash it. Don't even use it. Wash it right yes, away. Yes, always wash it. Before you use your fuzzing cloth, yes. wash it. No there's... downing, no nothing. Just wash it. Yep. Not even detergent. You just want those little light. Because if not, those little loose it's fibers. too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then it's too much to get on there. So yeah, just wash it real quick. And then that, those little teeny tiny fibers that are on there is what you want to keep it from being super sticky. So yeah. Okay, so now if you are new to Chalk Couture, do not freak out if your transfer stain. Some of our paste will stain your transfers. The number one victims in this tragedy are orange, yellows, and reds. Sometimes purples. Mm. But it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Miss Kayla Martinez just found out that she is on your second line. Ah, that's wow. exciting. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so for being I on the So I do um, keep my glitter on for a good amount of time. If you remove it too soon, it doesn't have a good time. Um, you need to let them party for a while, okay? They just met each other. The glitter, the paste, they want to party, okay? So let them party and then wind it down after they have partied. Okay, Sean? Mm hmm And why do we do that? Do what? Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to my life, everyone. It's hard to listen because I don't know if you're talking to them. I can multitask. Why can't you? Because I'm reading. Reading's a little harder because it takes more thought. Especially when I can barely read it. When I'm, this contact is Reading is hard because it takes a lot of thoughts. No, it's the... Seeing it in, cl oh in clarity. Gosh. I cannot with you, Sean. Meaning, don't work the, the amount of font I oh, have. Stop. Okay, so, excuse me, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. um, I grab a canned air. Now, warning to everyone do not shake, do not shake, because I will turn you into Elsa. 
and do not inhale it. This is not intended to get high. Believe me, there's one it time. It tastes horrible. Why it just wine? One time we were hitting it and Sean went this way and it went into my mouth and I was like, oh, good it God. Tastes, I don't even know how to say it. What is it? You've had it happen too. It, it tastes like a. There is no flavor. It's, it's just hor- gross. It's bitter. Very, very Why bitter. anyone? So look at that glitter, you guys. How about the Fiskars? Look. They're great for other things, but don't use it on this. Look. I know. Look at the glitter. I'm going to now do the part that Sean hates. Thanks, Sarah. See, look at that. Barely any glitter comes off if you let them party. Okay, let them rock out with the glitter out. Okay, mm-hmm. right. there we go. Ta-dun, ta-dun, ta-dun. Muy bien. Okay, see you guys later. Have a good night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side, and I'm gonna go over really quick on um, cleanup. So everyone always hates this part. I love this part. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of my ADHD mind. I Could don't be. know. Um, see, look it. A wet wipe is all you need to grab that glitter and we're good. Yeah. So um, if you follow these steps on your paste, your paste will last a lot longer and it should always be ready to go when you open it. So I'm going to show you what we do. Don't do that. Mm. Why would you do that? Just seeing if it was crusty or not. (sighs) When (laughs) I was 21, the doctor did the same thing. All right, so grab a multi-tool, and the first thing you'll do, the multi-tool, Sean can show you while I do this, has two ends. You're going to start by using the, what I call the hockey stick end. You're going to go around this whole thing to get all of that dried paste, and then you're going to take the stick up underneath the lip here, okay? If it's super, super dry, just try to get it off and throw it away yeah and then the reason i use the multi-tool more than stir sticks is you really do want to get that extra paste off can mm-hmm. you zoom in a little bit i sure can okay so then you're going to take a baby wipe put it around the end because you don't want to get paste all over your hands and you want to get it to... bring it down there you go. just want to stir it and make sure you're still at that consistency you're looking for okay we're going to put that away and then take that baby wipe and just clean your edge. Now the nice new thing, and if you notice that there's a kind of a silvery look here, let me give you that. will go away. That's it's going no away with the new I don't know if I have chunk. a new paste jar. Let me look. You do. Your red one. Your red. No, but you opened them. I don't oh, know why you it. opened them. I didn't. Yes, you. Oh, here you go. Is that one? Yeah. Yeah. So here is the brand new. Wait, can I show them this and then yeah. you can show them that? So the last thing you want to do before you put on the lid is just take your spray bottle, your chocolateur one once it gets here, and I do about one two three four and don't stir it in you're just going to then seal it and why do we not stir it in because you wanted to let it sit there on top and this way it kind of keeps it from drying out it on top it creates a barrier a barrier so, so if it does start drying out it doesn't matter because yeah. it's just your water yeah um, right. here you can show them compared to this lid okay and then show them this this new way is awesome let yeah. me tell you and so, they're plastic lids so here's what we have now here's your chalk paste here's your lid they used kind of a paper type top the new ones, here's the new one. It looks like it's about the same, but when you actually peel it off, the silver, st- the chrome, silver, whatever you want to call it, stays on there, and it's a completely clean uh, lid it's or a plastic lip. lid, yeah. And then the inside is not paper, it's plastic. So this will seal better, and then if you got some on there because it was st- stored upside down or whatever. Which happens. Which happens, lot. and you can just take your... Uh, multi-tool or something and just take it all out put it right back in your jar wash and it off and it'll be it nice comes and off way easier i don't want to way. open this one but trunk and tree the one that we do have opened um it comes off way easier yeah. he can show you that and then he can also show you the red glitter because oh, it's yeah. beautiful or Good shimmer enough. i should say so here's the gold there's even you can even see some of the gold floated to the top there yeah go that way with it there yeah. so look i have that gold oh <gasps> you guys look at it look at it look 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 this one will definitely go away at the end of this catalog. So if you yeah. love this color, grab it. So here is it, a little bit that has been on the uh, lid. Very easy to clean. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Can you have me a small squeegee, please, please? Thing or mini? There are mini squeegees. Mini. So I'm just gonna take this real quick. Just clean it off. Look already so much cleaner. Put it back in the jar, and I can take this over to the um, water if I wanted to, but I won't really have to. I can just take this. Okay. 
and clean the edge real quick. Look at that, nice and clean, perfect. No problems. Oh, I wanted to use part of that. because I just want to clean the edge right here. All right, so you guys, here is our finish. Now, if you are a club member, and I know some of you are, let me put that in the, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. If you are a club member, we will be um, going live on Facebook around the 15th of the month. We always show you how to complete the project as designed by Chalk Couture in this group. And we show you how to use it in a ink project on fabric and on a third party surface. So this way you can see how versatile our Club Couture transfers. Now I always say, um, oh, this is my favorite one they've released. I think Chalk Couture has done a fabulous job learning from each month. So the first one that they released was the Be Fabulous, which I, I don't, don't have. I don't think we have that one. I think we, didn't we get that one away? Oh no, I have it down here because it's oh. no longer. So the Be Fabulous, which is, looked like this. Um, wasn't everyone's favorite, but people started using it. Then they released another one. But these last three they've done have been home runs, in my opinion. We had the Sweet Spring, we had the Pinwheels, and now we have Here Comes the Sun. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. So if you're part of that group, you'll be part of that live. And it's a long live. It's usually about two hours to do those three projects. Um, we learn a lot of tips and stuff. And, of course, as you know, if you're a club member, I do give some sort of deal discount or perk mm -hmm. uh so right now there is a great perk for my club members and that is exclusive to my club couture group so if you want to join that would be yes. it um also we will be doing an unboxing video as soon as my order comes i may have spent around three thousand dollars on chalk couture yeah you did which is fine you is gave fine. me approval yeah always and stuff so, and i am going to show you guys i'm very excited for this in the next videos um, everyone is talking about the cutouts. So let me go back to this uh, overhead here. So in this catalog, mm -hmm. in this catalog, they released cutouts. So there is a pumpkin cutout and there's a Christmas tree cutout. And then of course there are transfers to match that. Everyone went crazy. Well, let me tell you, I'm gonna show you how you can take our silk screens and use them with the glow forge to cut out any of our silk screens and shape. Now, of course, you need a glow forge. I get that. Yes, this we way get you that. can see the main reason we bought the glow forge is for this reason. So I could cut out. In fact, I think I can show you. An example. So here's an example that we did on the glow forge. And this is a little bit wider than I probably wanted it, but this is our vintage truck. And we cut this out on the Glowforge. In fact, the paper is still on here. This is the laser paper. Yeah, so it's laser paper so you don't um, burn your edges. But we cut this out. It took maybe, I would say a minute and a half to cut this. If, if that. If that. And, and this is the cheap draft this is the wood. Cheap, cheap draft, draft wood. wood. But draft wood. Um, we were able to do this. So imagine if you have it. Now I'm not saying that this machine is not expensive. It's pretty pricey. You're right, Kristen. A scroll, um, a scroll one will work too. I do not trust myself with this scroll saw. <laughs> I will cut off one of my little sausage fingers. So yeah. um, for me, this works great. A scroll saw will work. Um, just as well but if you are interested in the glow forge you'll want to watch that episode and then if you do use our link you get up to 500 dollars off your glow forge which mm -hmm. is really good yeah. and awesome it's awesome um, so anyone that's used it already was surprised they're like oh it took a hundred dollars off or it took 500 dollars yeah. off which Depending is really on which cool. you buy. we actually we have one of our one of our peoples at shotgun mm -hmm. was there and she just bought it she says it should be coming shortly yes can't wait she got the pro yeah so there you guys are make sure you guys subscribe to this youtube channel um, and watch all my videos, not because I want you to watch them all. Uh, I cannot do certain things on YouTube until I get to 4,000 minutes viewed and we're only at like 1,100. So, you know, maybe just watch them in the background. Um, that would help us out. So subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the channel that we're gonna be going live for all Chalk Tour. We are also going to be uploading all of our short edited videos, which we've been doing a lot because I know there's people out there that want the interaction of live, but they also like the quick short video. So they'll be uploaded there. Does this there. lower third work? I'm going to throw it up. Try. There you go. Okay. And um, so definitely subscribe. I have a new Instagram page, so make sure you check that out. Um, all of my uh, handles are at 
Chalk Couture Ken's Creations. So that's for Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you look those up, it should lead you to all mm -hmm. those pages. It is completely separate from my regular Ken's Creations. Um, so you want to make sure you are on both. Mm -hmm. And this catalog just released, so now's the time to shop. And if you're not a Club Couture member, you really should be because it's the bomb diggity. It is. Why can't I get this to go? I don't know. What are you trying to That's do? Why. I'll show the... Oh, gotcha. That one. So why are you showing it? You can request a catalog as long as you are not a designer. Because the designers get one anyway, so... Um... Correct. So there's a catalog request. The catalog request is free. You will not be charged for this catalog. Mm. The reason we are doing it for free is, number one, we love you. Number two, uh, a catalog, I want you guys, I don't want a cost to inhibit you getting a catalog. Mm -hmm. I uh, completely agree with people. There is something about having a catalog and marking it and going through it and everything. Circling it. Circling it and all sorts of stuff. It. So we are happy to send one out to you for free. We won't even charge you for shipping. Uh, we will have certain things in there. The only thing we're asking is that you've either A, placed an order with us, you're a Club Couture member, or if you purchase in the future, you're committing to hopefully having us as your mm -hmm. designer. Yes, absolutely. Um, Angie Chavez is asking, what is the link for the Glowforge? The Glowforge link. Oh, good is there question. One, is there one down there? Because I didn't even yes, know if you had I, there isn't, but I can get it really quick for you. Give yeah. me one she's sec. In, she's in the YouTube one. Let me grab it. Um, Hold on one second while we get that. So the Glowforge has three different levels. Sean can kind of explain it. There's a so basic, there's basic, a plus, a and a plus, pro. and a pro. The basic is the one we have currently. Um, the the big difference is one cost, obviously. Um, the basic and the plus basically do the same thing. The nice thing about the plus is that it does have the more powerful laser, which is 45 watts versus 40. So it does cut a little faster, engraves a little faster. Um, and also has um, one other thing, but um, that price point I think is thirty five hundred dollars somewhere right in there. The basic is twenty five hundred. The pro has what's called a pass through, so you can do long stuff, and um, and it t teaches you how to do all that stuff. So the other two cannot do pass throughs, and it too is fast uh, has a forty five watt laser on it. It is yeah. a, it is a CO two laser. Knowing what you know. Are you upset we didn't go with the Pro? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say yes or no right now because I don't know what I would do that would consist of something larger than the space that there is now. There might be a few things that be, gosh, I wish I, was, I could have the Pro so I could do something slightly longer than what mm -hmm. I have now. Because right now it's like 12 by 20, I think is the, the size you can put in yep, yep. the two, where the other one is 12 by whatever length you want. Mm -hmm. um, so it all just depends. Um, so it all depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, that's true. Um, if you live like the one gal had to buy the um, the f air filter system. Oh, which is part of the which pro. is which is part of the. You can it can actually go to any one of them. It's just that it's an it's an added cost and it's and you can literally put it anywhere in your house room. She's in a, lived in a condo and she cannot exhaust outside. So she has that. So you can literally do whatever you want, and the filter is big enough where you won't have any problems with that. Um, it's very cool. It's um, it's for sure Sean's toy. I it's mean, it's a cool toy. He's used it quite a I bit. I use it a lot, and I love it. But Sean loves it. Yeah, I want to do some more stuff. With I it. mean, we've done so much stuff with it. We've created awards for our friend. We've etched. We've done so much. So it's it's really cool. I'm excited for it. So so. Um, um, Patty, there you go with the, uh, there's that thing. So if you guys really want one, you can use this link to get one. Um, it's connected to you, right? That it's link. connected to me. It's not an affiliate link. All no. it is, is it's a built-in link. You, if you get it, you either get a hundred, 300 or $500 off, depending on which model yeah, you so get. Obviously, and then blah, blah, blah. we get product. We so get product. we get to go buy like supplies and stuff. We don't get like... I guess you could get cash eventually, but he wants supplies. I want supplies. He, supplies is a good thing to have. Yeah. So if yeah. you use it, it would be great. Mostly, though, I wanted the link because it gives you guys a savings. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know we got a kickback. I just asked him, do you have any way I can give a coupon to my viewers? And they said, we don't have a coupon, but we can give you a link that gives them 100 three, or $500. Yes. So there you, you definitely go. want to use it. Yep. 
to get that, that code off. So, all right, down below, once again, guys, if you are a Club Couture member, I already have the how-to video that Chalk Couture put out. I have the PDF. I have all the past Club Couture videos that you can take a peek at. Um, my shopping link's down there, how to become a Club Couture member, uh, how to join Chalk Couture. And if you check out my blog, I recently just updated a whole entire page of stuff. Um, let me show you this, I'm really excited. Where'd you get these? Where did I get what? These. Ross, of all places. Ross. Isn't that crazy? I know. Um, Even the table came from Ross. Yeah. So I'm going to share Sean's desktop here. <clears throat> one, one moment. So if you check out my blog, which is creativeken.com, it'll take you to my blog. But this is great for people that are interested in Chalk Couture and want more information. If you hover over Chalk Couture, you would now have What's Chalk Couture Shop? Should I join Chalk Couture? Join Club Couture, Chalk Transfers Paste. If you go to any of these, let's for example say Chalk Transfers, it's gonna take you to a page and give you a video, give you all of the information you need, and it will show you what all of the current transfers available are. So this way you'll know if something is you know, available right now. Um, so we spent all yesterday and today updating all of these for you guys so that it's a one-stop shop. Um, so you'll wanna check that out. Yes, cool. All right, so if there's no other questions, thank you for joining. We have missed going live. We are really excited to be finally caught up with things and moving forward. So this way we can do more lives with you guys on both channels, the Chalk Couture channel and our regular Ken's Creations channel. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're subscribed. You have the bell icon on. That bell icon then will give you an alert when we do go live. And that way you can join in yeah. on all the fun. Fatima, we cut that in like a minute and then just did a quick paste on that board. That's how quick Glowforge. that was on the Glowforge cutout. Cut that took 37 seconds, I remember it. Yep. Yeah, I have cut, a video, I should have it, uploaded yeah, it. Um, I should fast. send it, but it, it's um, on my phone, it's being used there, but it was super fast. It mm -hmm. took more, it took longer for me to create the SVG, because you do have to create an SVG, which I would walk through with people, but mm -hmm. um, it's super yeah, awesome. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> I will have to look into the Club Couture. I want to get back into Chalk Couture, but I don't want to re-sign up. Yes, Renee, definitely look into to request. Luann, you just wrote request. I'm not sure what request. Oh, there is a, um, you sent the catalog request. Great. Just make sure you fill out that form. Um, I know the sloth transfer. It is called. It's so cute. It's so cute. It it's is... more of the, the cutesy version of a cartoon character, I guess. I guess. Yeah, it's... it is called. No hurry, spelled like. No need to hurry. Oh, no need, no hurries, no worries, and it's right there. Look at it. No worries, no hurries. Slots are in right now, dude. They are in. Mm -hmm. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and stay tuned about our chalkathon and everything like that. Yes. And there she goes. It must be all right, guys. So Riles knows when we're about ready to end a video and she'll start whining. And I think it's yep. all right, guys. Thanks for watching or something. Yep. And it triggers her. So. <laughs> so you guys have a good night. We will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for everything. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.